Hello everybody, we are back yet again for another comprehensive playthrough review. We're gonna do something a little different today. So whereas normally I like to review drum playthroughs, which I'll do some more of those in a little bit, I just kind of wanted to break away from it because I play other instruments as well. I play some guitar, I've showed some guitar videos on there, and I'm gonna start uploading some more guitar videos because, you know, it's fun. I play bass, but not really that great. I mean, it's good enough to pass on like, you know, a, a demo or something like that, but it's not the greatest. But I do like how bassists can actually take things and make things into really cool uh, instrumentals and make really cool bass lead lines and all that. And I love that. So guess what we're doing today? We're reviewing a bass playthrough. Someone who used to be in one of my favorite bands of all time, Obscura. This is, uh, let me see if I can pronounce his name correctly. This is going to be a bla this is going to be a bass playthrough of Acarasis, which is the title track off of Obscura's fourth album, I believe. And this is a bass playthrough by Linus. I'm going to have so much trouble pronouncing this. Klausinitzer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, Linus, forgive me if you're watching this video later on. I'm sorry if I botched that. But anyway, we're going to dive right into it and we're going to watch this guy absolutely shred on bass. I know he does already. Yep. All right, without further ado, guys, let's jump right in. Yeah, he's very nice and oriented on the bass. You notice too how in this beginning part he keeps it kind of simple. He's also playing chords as well and chord shapes. It's a fretless bass as well, so that also affects, you know, like how you play it as well. You have to play things differently on a fretless. I've played many of fretless basses in my day and it, they are much different than a fritted bass. But he's not playing exactly like they do on the uh, guitar, on the guitar part. He's kind of, you know, taking the root notes and all that, and he's playing along with it. But he's keeping it nice and simple, and he adds his embellishments in where it needs to be embellished. But this is exactly like what you want in a bass player. Someone who can add those embellishments and add those flourishes in where it needs to be, but also keep that rhythm and keep that pocket going. That's also not a bad bass tone for fretless. It's nice and stand out. See, like, this is what I'm talking about as far as the lead parts, right? He adds his flourishes where it needs to be flourished, and then he does his root notes for the most part and keeps the rhythm down. That's a cool part right there. That's what I love about doing the fretless bass, because you can do that wobble with your vibrato, and it sounds so nice. Nice little chord slide down. Chord shapes again, and chord arpeggiations. He's just using so many different techniques and so many different things in here that it's just, it makes it so excellent. It may not be the craziest bass playthrough ever, but it's just, this is a perfect example of using pocket, using rhythm to your advantage. See right there, he's just playing the root note. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's Linus is such an excellent bass player. I wish I got to see them when he was uh, playing bass. I mean, nothing wrong against Alex Weber right now. Alex Weber slaps. I've seen him live with them twice, and he's absolutely fantastic. And I've talked to him in person. Really nice guy. But yeah, Linus is just something else, though. He, excellent playthrough. And also, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Get him up to 3K, guys. Come on. You guys got that. Yeah, excellent stuff, man. Excellent stuff by that guy, dude. Linus is freaking awesome. And again, he may not be playing the most technical thing on bass, but he doesn't have to. He's playing with enough embellishments and enough pocket and rhythm that he's keeping the main chunk of the song rhythmic and matching along with the drums. But what he's also doing as well is, like I said, he's adding those little flourishments in there as well to help kind of stand out. So that way you can hear the bass and you can hear all these little extra layers that are being added on into it. Because that original guitar part, which I actually know in the intro, that part right there, he's just playing a root note the whole time for the most part. He's adding little flourishments in there and he's adding little wobbles and little uh, trills and tremolos in there. And with the fretless bass, it sounds really cool because you get to do the, you know, like I said, the little wobble with your fingers and make it sound like real whoa, 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 whoa. and it sounds, it sounds so nice. I love fretless basses for that. He adds in a lot of these little flourishments in there during the main rhythms that help it to stand out and help to add those extra layers in that, but it still keeps the main rhythm of the song and it doesn't clash. That's the main important thing. It doesn't clash with the guitars and it doesn't clash with the drums in any particular way that's what you want in a bass player if you've got a bass player that he wants to basically just shred all the time that's cool but it has its place as well if you've got a bass player that just wants to play pocket all the time that's cool but that gets boring so fast finding that perfect mix between the two where they can add their flourishments and also stay in the pocket is the gold the golden bass player right there and that's what you'll find in linus right there if you can find someone like linus keep that bass player forever don't ever do anything to let him go it's very hard to find a bass player that's like that. There's quite a few on the earth, but they're all usually taken up in great bands. With that being said, guys, that's going to be into this uh, for a first for this channel, bass playthrough review. And again, I wanted to do this because I play other instruments and I like watching other people play instruments and all that and learning and analyzing technique and stuff like that. It's all really cool to me. So here's a couple things you can do to help support me. For one, hit that subscribe button down below. That would be really great. Give me a comment as well. Let me know what you guys thought of Linus's playthrough of Acarasis. Also, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. I'd really appreciate that and with all that being said guys that's going to conclude today's video so hopefully you enjoyed it let me know what you thought of it down below have yourselves a safe day and a restful one and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys